demand to know what's happening. The trine. Not this again. You have to like it when a game tries something new and different. And you have to like it even more when it works out to make a fantastic game. That is the case with Trine 2, the ingeniously titled sequel to the 2009 game Trine. I have children waiting for me to come home. I can't leave. But your magics are needed. The kingdom is in danger. <sighs> Will this nightmare ever be over? Like the original, Trine 2 is an action platform game that has a heavy focus on puzzles. The game sees three characters bond together by the power of the Trine. Amadeus the Wizard, Pontius the Knight, and Zoya the Thief. The kingdom is in danger, so the mysterious Trine reunites the heroes who have to save the land from goblins. The way they have to do this is each use their own abilities to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. The game plays from a 2D perspective, but with 3D characters. You only use one character at a time, but you are able to switch between them instantly. This needs to be done to solve the game's many puzzles, as each character has their own abilities. Amadeus is able to levitate objects and move them, and also conjure boxes that can be used for multiple purposes. Pontius, being the brave knight that he is, is ready for combat at any moment. He has his shield and sword and will be your go-to in battle. And Zoya is more sneaky. She has her bow and grappling hook, which makes her deadly at a distance and able to move quickly. It is very fun quickly switching between the characters. The puzzles in the game are actually pretty difficult. They are the kinds that will have you scratching your head for a moment, but after you figure it out, you won't understand why you didn't figure it out faster. This makes the game feel challenging while also not feeling cheap. But as great as the gameplay is, what is even more impressive are the visuals. The game simply looks amazing. Everything from the character models to the levels themselves will cause you to just stare and be impressed. The backgrounds look great, with a lot of detail to them, making everything feel alive. Mix that with the great fantasy soundtrack, and you have more than enough to be distracted by as you are stumped on another puzzle. The game will have you coming back, either to collect all the blue orbs hidden throughout the world, or to experience more of the combat and see the visuals again, or just to get past that last puzzle that you've been stuck on for the last week. What a happy little frog. 